I think it was like at age eight or nine that I went to this lunch in a tiny restaurant in Patagonia owned by a German couple. And the setting was in, in the shade under this beautiful tree. And everybody was sort of dressed up. And I remember the flowers and the classical music. I don't remember anything about the food. From dear friends to kings, musicians, presidents. My aim is always to try to touch people in, in a way that they will never forget. And it's not only about the taste and food, but it's about the lifestyle that surrounds that day. I think I like to have a, a big fire a comfortable chair. I like to be dressed accordingly to my spirit of the day. I like to have books with me. Um, and I think that's what I like, you know, to, to have sort of this uh, feeling of, of comfort surrounded by the magic of a big fire. First, you need very good product, so you need a very good steak. <clears throat> Preferably, I like the steaks that are on the bone, because the bone gives a lot of taste to them. Then it has a very good marble of fat, because that tends to melt during cooking and gives a lot of taste to the steak. And then the most important thing is to turn it, flip it only once, so, you know, you, if you're going to cook it for 10 minutes, you cook it probably for six on the first side and for four minutes in the last one. And when you're doing a steak, you, you're constantly looking at it. You know, you're in love with it. You, you can't leave her for one moment um, because you have to read what's happening around the steak as you cook it and make decisions. That's the best way. You just sort of press it a bit on it and the softer it is, the raw, the more raw it is, and the, the more firm it is, it's because it's more cooked. So the ribeye, which comes with the bone of the shoulder, has like a little half moon cut that is on top of it, which is so, so delicious, very tender, I really like it. Cabbage and potatoes, two of them. Cabbage for a salad, a potatoes to be cooked in very different ways. Probably very, very, very good red wine vinegar, very good olive oil, sea salt and herbs. The best knives for me are done by a man called Fingal Ferguson. And he's from Cork in Ireland. They're handmade and they're very, very handsome and sharp knives. I love Negronis. I like it's sharp. It's a bit bitter. It's explosively alcoholic. I like Krug Champagne, especially the Rosé. I find it very appealing to go with my meats. The River Café in London. It's my, my heart sleeps at its door. I love the democracy of thought of their cooking, the respect for products, the simple way they cook, and the ambiance. I would sing to them a, probably a song of Pink Floyd, wish you were here. Mm. I think there are two places. One is Patagonia and the other one is Paris. Patagonia is home. It's, you know, the language of the mountains, of the clouds, of the forests. And Paris is, is sort of a lover I have that uh, I like so very much. 
probably a gaucho, which is our local cowboy. He, they live a very beautiful life. They have a, an intelligence about eating. They always eat by a fire. They're always standing. They have a knife in their right hand and a piece of bread on their left. And they cut a little piece of hot meat from the grill, put it on the bread, knead it. And as they're eating that, they're looking at the next piece. So they're not like us that we will serve ourselves a huge slice of meat and go to the table and wait till it gets cold. So I think we would have that with them and some sort of ash cooked potatoes and a ensalada criolla, which is a very simple salad we do with leches, onions and tomatoes. That would be a perfect meal. Mm -hmm.